It's a daily ritual now, and it's a collective ritual. In a town so traumatised by COVID-19, where over 6,000 people died as the pandemic struck, forcing hundreds of thousands into lockdown, unable to say goodbye to their loved ones. The cemetery is a place to come and mourn and remember together. The graves of the COVID dead in Bergamo, the worst hit place in Lombardy, are often positioned near each other. They're simple and poignant. The final resting place for the old and the young. Coronavirus didn't discriminate in the lives it took. As with Britain, there are calls for a public inquiry into the government's handling of the disaster. But here they've gone further. Legal action has been launched by families of the dead. Armando Invenizzi died in March. His wife Monica and their son Nicola want answers. They don't want money or compensation, just an acknowledgement of mistakes. È contro chiunque, non è fatta, è la procura che deve fare gli indagini. Anche perché secondo noi hanno sbagliato un po' tutti. Però è la procura, è, contro, è proprio contro i gnoti, contro... Non è l'unica cosa che diciamo, solleviamo i medici perché abbiamo visto quello che, che si sono ritrovati, lo tsunami che si sono ritrovati a arrivare. Bergamo, like the rest of Italy, is out of lockdown. But the wearing of masks is mandatory. Social distancing in bars and restaurants is strictly observed. Temperatures are regularly tested. And alcohol can't be drunk on the streets after 7 p.m. Towering over Bergamo is the old city, a beautiful medieval town, once the westernmost point of the Venetian Empire. It's slowly returning to normal, although while it may look busy, in reality in summertime the streets would be absolutely heaving. There are few foreign visitors here this year. The city and its inhabitants are far from getting over what happened here. Trying to navigate a way forward is the job of Mayor Giorgio Gori. He imposed the lockdown, now he's overseeing its unlocking. I suppose all the countries have to accept that dealing with the COVID virus outbreak doesn't just end after a few weeks, it goes on and on and on. Yeah, uh, it, I, I think that one part of our uh, difficulty comes from the uncertainty that we have to face about this, this new enemy. Because after six months, more or less, uh, we don't know yet exactly what, what kind of, uh, of enemy we have in front of us. Uh, we don't know if the virus uh, is changing, we don't know if the, 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 um, the viral charge is declining, uh, we don't know if there are permanent effects, uh, uh, we don't know if it, if uh, is uh, um, affected by the temperature, if in the in the fall, as happens with with the normal influence, uh, will it, it will back. Um, and there are so many things that we don't know yet. Um, I I in myself, and I is the same thing that I say to my citizens is that we have to be ready to a phase of. Co, um, coexistence with the virus. Amid fears of a second wave of the deadly virus, Bergamo remains a cautious and melancholy place. They won't forget what happened here, but they will move on, but at a distance with clean hands and wearing a mask. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Bergamo.